Okay, the composer also, thank you for joining. He says, I've seen that you open two trays at the same time and I have two stop losses. Can you explain how do you do it exactly? Uh, sure, so simply I take, um, how do I do the two trays and two stop losses is very really simple. When I take trays, I use mobile and I don't usually open the MetaTrader on desktop and execute my trace because sometimes uh, desktop software has some lag or um, it may take a bit uh, longer time to launch and also um, uh, execute the trace. So mobile is much lighter and uh, it's more handy. So usually I have my screen right in front of me and I have trading view. Just like this, I have trading view on my front screen and then when I see the entry chance then I take out mobile and launch the app of MetaTrader 5 and then simply select the pair and press buy and sell and also put the stop losses manually here by mobile. That's how I take trades. So I don't take trades on the PC. I only do charting and analyzing the markets through the trading view and I take trades by mobile app. So simply uh, coming back to your question, I simply press buy or sell buttons twice and then I put the stop losses on each position and that's how I do the trades. So I have two trades and two stop losses. And the reason why I have two trades and two stop losses is I have backtested uh, my strategy with one trade and one stop loss versus two trades and two stop losses. And uh, my risk and the reward ratio becomes much greater when I take two stop losses. Because uh, once the market starts to run towards my direction, then I trial in different uh, time frame. One to be aggressive, one stop loss. So um, I have two stop losses and as the market goes towards my direction, one stop loss I trial and second stop loss I keep still on the break even like this. And the market goes down furthermore, then I trial on one of the stop losses like this. This is before the breakout. So I would move the stop loss down here and the second stop loss I move it to here. In this case, I start a trial on the second stop loss because I have been running some nice profits so far. So in case any news happens and the market spikes up, I don't want to lose all these potential pips. So I start a trial on the second stop loss also. Okay, then let's say the market goes down furthermore. So I trial aggressively on the first stop loss and the second stop loss I still keep here because this is like a bonus. So then um, let's say one of the stop losses hit. Let's say my stop loss is here and let's say this one's hit by this candlestick. So I lose, I took the profit of of uh, 246 pips on one of the trays. But I actually exited here, but I still have the second one alive. So if the market goes down again, then I trial on the second one. Like this. I hope that makes sense. But if it starts to be bullish, then I exit manually on the second one. I exit manually. You see, so this way, uh, instead of having one position, one stop loss, I have a better chance to follow the second wave, I mean second um, wave or downtrend as it goes on. So in fact, in this case, the market continue to be bearish. So when I see the breakout, I move the second stop loss to here or maybe here and keep trading the profits. The market further goes down, so I trial the profit until it stops. This is my trend follow strategy. So now there's a shallow breakout. Most likely I move the stop loss to the top of the wick up here. 
until it stops uptrending. So here, the price hit the stop loss, and this is or I exit my trade on the second position. And eventually, in this example, I take um, here 448 pips of the profit. So again, this is where I enter my trade. And uh, this is the first take profit. And this is my second take profit. Take profit 2. And this is take profit 1. So, in terms of the risk, risk was this much, and the reward is much bigger in this way. But if I only have one stop loss here and exit, then I only gain this much of profit, and I wouldn't be able to capture the next wave down. So in this reason, I take two stop losses and two positions. And eventually, I follow the trend until it ends. I actually capture the end of the trend by Ichimoku. And eventually, uh, as you know, as you may know already, if you follow me for uh, some time, then uh, this part becomes the tail, tail of the fish, and this part becomes the body, and the top part becomes the head of the fish, like this. So the fish is actually moving down. This is downtrend. So this is a fish. And I don't take the head, I don't take the tail, but I only take the body part. Because this is where the, where the meat is, you know. So this is my f head and the tail analogy of my trend strategy. I hope it makes sense to everyone. So again, I capture the beginning of the trend, and then once I do, I follow downtrend continuously until it stops. In this example, downtrend stopped here, and then the market started to reverse, and broke, almost breaking the previous resistances on this time frame. So, this is where I exit my trade. But, in this case, so the fish body part beca became uh, 448 pips. This is one hour, so the pips gain is a bit bigger. It's one hour, but um, we never know. The body part may be bigger if the market goes down, of course, continuously, or it may be shorter if the market retraces earlier timing. And it depends on the Kumo thickness, and also Chikou span location to the price, and also whether there is a major support levels. Maybe in this case, there was a major support level here, and that's why the market retraced. So, in this way, I can safely follow the market direction, without losing big. Always, the risk part is the same. I only take the risk of this much. The risk of, um, in this case, 129 pips. And then I gain this much. Again, this is in one hour time frame, but I do the same in 5 minute or 15 minute time frame, or one hour, or daily. Simply, whichever time frame I follow, this is my logic. So, that's why I say I'm a trend follower. I don't take trades when it's range, like this. Even if I buy or sell in a ranging market, I won't be able to capture big pips. You may have more opportunities, more trading chances, but uh, at the same time, the risks are there too. Because you may lose big once the market breaks the resistance or it once it breaks a support. But uh, once you capture the trending market correctly, then it goes down very fast. So, that's my strategy. And that's why I have two trades and two stop losses. And sometimes I take three trades and three stop losses too, when there is a um, you know, big downtrend or uptrend. So, 
And again, I compare the result between only having one position, one stop loss, and two positions and two stop losses, and my risk and the reward ratio, uh, which is called PF profit factor, and R multiple became much, much better. So that's why I stick to this rule and I be successful. Okay, so now um, let me take a look at some markets. I hope you become a non-losing trader. In Ichimoku community, I share the original knowledge of Ichimoku. In KTS Academy, I share my original strategy including risk and psychology management. In GTI, I submit your trades and follow up one-on-one -on -one closely for the three months. Take a survey to find out which course suits you the best. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you liked it, please press like button and please subscribe. And until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you very much.